What's up guys? How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. So last time we finally, finally wrapped up with everything uh, around Reborn related. Uh, and we're actually going to go into Ishgard. Oh, oh man, it took us forever. It took us four months actually. Uh, if you count the time now, it's been over four months actually. So yeah, should not be complaining. Let us head over there. Now, I have a question. I'm not particularly sure on it yet. Because I've been hearing that the classes that we can get, they, they might just be, they might just be level 30. So, yeah. Annoying. Annoying, actually. Uh, one other thing before I get to it. I need to go to alerts. And copy that. Can I change that? Oh, probably I'm unable to. I'll figure it out later. No real problem doing it anyway. So I was thinking about picking up the red mage or the samurai. No, no, we need another plan. Uh, that's why I need you guys. We need another plan. Uh, and the reason for it is simple. I kind of want to go with a, a a tank. A tanking class, a DPS, and a healer. But I'm not sure if we can do the healer yet. Like the red mage, I think we can pick up in, in Uldar. What else can we take? I mean, it's nothing over there. Uh, that's the wrong one. Low decks. Can't really see, huh? Let's go down there. Let's take a look. I don't think there's anything that you can pick up right over here now. There's a bit of a dip in my bitrate. Guess things will be fine eventually. We could take Blue Mage, Dancer at level 60, Sage at 70. What would be interesting as a class? I think Astrologian is obtainable in Ishgard. Red Mage. It's, it is actually interesting doing something like that. But we already... Have, I'm, I'm leveling Summoner. Maybe we should just hold off leveling any of them until we are actually ready. How many tomes do I have? Almost none. We already have Ninja. Now I'm thinking about what can we use... That would also use the tomes from uh, some of the other classes. I'm not sure if that is uh, the case. Yeah, this did update, yeah. Still need to top there. Level 47 on this class. You know what? Let's go to Uldar. Let's go to Uldar and we'll pick up Red Mage. I hear it's cool. I, I don't know if it is. I hear it's cool. Uh, and I've never... I don't have any experience playing it. I think we should do that in the marketplace. That is... We'll do the gentleman another time. Because I really don't want to go through a massive portion of reading again. And I think taking the red going to pieces. Taking the red. There we go. Level 50. Okay, what do you have to say for yourself? We also get an I level 115 coffer, Mitral Raper. Reaper, this would say I will be level 50. We could actually just do it then. Let's accept this. Oh, oh, I, uh, oh, oh, are you an adventurer? Please, you have to rescue my sister. Something hor some horrible people have tried to kidnap, up, kidnap us outside of the city gates. I managed to break free when a traveler stopped to help, but my sister never caught up to me. Uh, where are your parents? 
It says a parental job with oh sorry lass. Mama and Papa left early to deal with some merchants. And the brass blades don't seem to care what happens outside the city walls. A traveller, he was some sort of a mage, I think. My dog is going ham in his cage. Could you stop that? I think, but it, uh, it was one against five. Surely you could not stand up against so many. What can I do? Won't you please help me? Okay, I guess I have no other choice. Oh, it's just outside here then. Awesome. We'll get on to it. Is it a... We could also go with Dark, with Dark Knight. Dark Knight is like Heaven's Ward, right? Ooh, look at him go. A well-dressed lass. In distress. And... Okay, on guard. Traumatus. Okay, what do you want? Don't touch my... Oh, you're not one of them. I, clearly I'm not. Uh, he's going to wipe the floor with them. He has to. Epic. Okay, that's cool. Alright, that is cool. Alright, that first attack. Bloody cool. Zoro. Yeah, he's Zoro. There we go. Zoro was a red mage. Damn. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Look, and then he's getting stabbed by it. No, oh, okay, of course not. And who might you be? Oh, I'm just here to take a look at what you're doing, mate. Let's talk to him. The well-dressed lass and the red-garbed traveler. You came to let me aid. My apologies. Had I known, I would have spared you a villain or two. After all, I've seen my share of the stage for those who would prey upon defenseless children. Huh? Birds of a feather, are we? I don't get that. Why Bob? birds of a feather? Oh, dear Lord. What is this? Xerum? Xerum. Xerum Tyre. I'm Xerum Tyre. A pilgrim of sorts. Might I know your name, friend? None of your bloody business. Una. Now, why does that strike such a familiar chord? Because I'm the warrior light. That's who I am. I just wanted to thank you for saving me. Okay. Yeah, that, he would be more deserving of that. Ah, uh, my pleasure, child. Are you unharmed? Who oh, does an escort this brave lass to assist the Dan? Lead the way. Hey, okay, there's something I can do. Come on. Come on. Thank you. So run back. Run back. We'll take it. So, apparently... Oh, no. This, this can't do... No. Oh, no. There you go. Way, way better. I am not going to be locking up my ass the constant time we play. Not happening. I just can't deal with that. Get some pants in there. Get some pants for God's sake. You found an adventurer. Thank you. Well. Oh, she's already making the bow there. You're very grateful for your kindness. Okay, that's good. I was so scared. What did those horrible people want with us? You don't need to worry about them anymore, sister. The man in red defeated them all. You saw how they, f how we fought with spells and steel. He's one of those heroes Papa told us about. A crimson duelist, aren't you? No, I did not expect to hear that name from uh, this far south of Eorzea. Then a, uh, oh, then you are a crimson duelist. Crimson duelist. Yes, he cr clearly looks like it. If Papa's selling his daughter tales of red mages, then he must be from Alamingo. Oh, so this is actually an Alamingo class then. Cool. Did not know that. Well, that would explain the choice in bedtime stories. Now, sh let's, uh, now shall we see you lasses home? 
Uh, we'll be alright from here. Thank you again. Yeah, you don't want him to know where you live, huh? Yes. Okay, awkward. Ah, I hear. They skip. Safe and happy. Now, Una, was it not? I believe I've earned... Uh, we've earned ourselves a celebrational ring. Sure. I'm going to be pronouncing him as Tia. Because I'm not going to bother with that. Ah. You not need to feel compelled, my friend. Should the mood strike you, however, you'll find me staying at the Blackbrush Station. We're at the Blackbrush Station? Interesting. I find the ale served at the Coffer and Coffin most agreeable. Wait, it's over there. It's not really at the Blackbrush Station. It's just outside of it. Of course, yeah, there's the... Ah, uh, okay, never mind. There we go. Once we take it up, once we take it up, we'll immediately go for the story. Immediately. I don't want to be having one of them episodes again, where I'd be sidetracked constantly. Please let the red mage have pants and not a skirt. Look, I don't get off on digital bits. There you go, here's Tia. Ah, you came, as it happened. As it so happened, the mother of those girls tracked me down by... and insisted I accept the reward. Once I mentioned you might be stopping by, she left a token of gratitude for you as well. It seems I've... Uh, you've assisted an... Ethel merchant family. Of, oh, an affluent merchant family. A renovation which might explain the adapted kidnapping. Hefty ransom and all that. I'm told the girls were immediately assigned to a capable bodyguard. However, so we can drink in peace. They are well protected. Um, I, I already forgot about them, girl, mate. I'm, I'm not thinking about them anymore. Oh, uh, I've... Um, uh, oh, I've... Remembered... Wrench, I know your... Oh, I've remembered Wrench, I know your name! Really? Um, it was Alisa who first mentioned you to me after she had lured me to more than a few of your more famous exploits. I became rather curious to meet you yourself. Alisaia, the sister of uh, Alfinot. Cool. Why is he? I, I've met her once. She's a stalker, I think. Must be. Ah, how do I know the... Indomitable Ashley? Alice. Sorry, it's Alice. A pass crossed quite, uh, quite by chance. Fellow traveler met upon the road. She expressed an interest in red imagery and persuaded me to instruct her in the basics of the art. Really? I thought she was an archer. I thought she was an. What? what She's an archer, right? Like, uh, Alfinod is, is a scholar. She, provided, uh, she proved a quick study in the arcane side of things, but fencing was something of a challenge. By the end of the, our lesson, however, she had learned the combined spellcraft with swordplay, when to cast from afar and when to lunge forward with a well-timed thrust. And what of you, my friend? Have you any interest in the art? I suspect it would make an exceptional red... I think so as well. I think I will be brilliant at it. Uh, I'm deadly serious. A woman who rushed to the age of stranger's child... Uh, to of a stranger's child without fear or hesitation is a woman I would trust with the power of the red mage. But even beyond that, I sense you're a kindred spirit. Oh, you're sucking up, mate. Be warned, however, that my style of teaching is a practical one. I would expect you to join me on my journey and assist me in aiding others. Accept those terms and I will bestow upon you the cost... Accordments? Accordments of a red mage. Okay, what are those? Are you familiar with soul crystals? I am, dude. We're, like, we're level what, 60 or something. This particular stone is attuned to the past wielders of the rest mechanics of magics, actually. And will fill your mind with a firm foundation of technique. You need only reach forth your hand. 
Okay, so that's actually what soul stones are then, huh? Okay, cool. Are you prepared to walk the path for the red mage? One word in the soul crystal is yours. You will not regret this decision, my friend. Gods above, for a moment there, I thought you meant to refuse me. A host of red mages commit their memories to this gem, and now it is yours. Okay. Now you do want to see me in my underwear, because the second I equip that thing, I'm going to be butt naked. Absorb the knowledge it contains, and we will discuss the fine points of red magic. Ah, but first I should give you that reward. You just want to see me naked, don't you? Perfect. Alright, cool. Alright, well, let's let's get indulge him. Come on. Fine. There you go. I'm naked. Weirdo. Tire coffer. Now, I wonder if these are actually better. Oh, uh, wow, they are. They're not 130. And... I have patents! <laughs> How wonderful. Why do I have this one? Um, this is all classes. Augment the choke of aiming. But I'm not using it on the others. Why is that? Why would I use this one? Direct hit rate, probably. That's yeah, fine. I don't want this. Um. There you go. Nope. Red mage. Put him in there. Yeah, why would I want to, this this ring? Like I'm level 50. There's no benefit to it. Maybe it's dexterity or something? I'm not sure. Oh my. You can go, you can go. Uh, you can go, you can go, you can stay over there. Dream, sleeping room, probably won't use. How does this go, guys? Alright, let's... Um, it seems like we have a new indicator. Is there a practice dummy outside? Honestly, there's none. Fine. Do I want to put on the hat? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There you go. Okay, what do we have? Repose. Driven attack with opponency 130. Actions upgraded to enchanted repose of both black mana and white mana are at 20 or more. So these are red, uh, white and black mana then. Jolt. Additional effect. Deals lightning damage with opponency of 300. Additional effect increases black mana by 6. Interesting. Uh, sure cast. Put what you over there for the moment. Add dire. Like these have two charges, so they do something. Living attack with potency 130, maximum charge is going to be two. Shares a recast timer with displays, which is probably this one. Delivers an attack with a potency 130, additional effect, a 15 mom backstep. So this is getting out fast, and this might be getting in. No. Let's go to the. Um... No, no, let's not go there. Let's go to the house. Have a cup of digital coffee. Sounds good. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. Mm. Okay, wait, there was a follow-up over there. Wait a minute. We, we saw a follow-up over there. Put it over there. Okay, one. Two. Okay, so this is the one, two, three. Interesting. Is that the one we want to start with? 
Uh, it seems like we have two on two right now. That's not a whole bunch. What is four? Four is going inwards. Velvet Thunder. Wow, that casting is taking a sweet ass time. Damn. Uh, we have. So these are just elemental attacks, it seems. D this is lightning. We have. Okay, let's let's change this bar a tiny bit so I know these are spells for the moment. Uh, what was Jolt again? Jolt is nothing spectacular right now. All enemies. So this is an area of effect, and this is a single target attack. Then. Now I usually like to because these attacks you need to be inwards, right? Because now I can't use them, but I can use actually my normal magic. These are single targets. Then we can repose. One, two, three. This is an area. This has velvet fire, deals fire damage, potency of 250. It's single target, so I kind of want that over there or something. All enemies or nearby. Deals unexpected damage with a potency of 120 to targets and all enemies nearby. So it's an area of effect. And this is getting out fast. Deals lightning damage with a potency of 100 and to the target and all enemies nearby. So that's also an area. And what does it do? Not sure. Felicia. Lives in attack with a potency of force. Wow. That is a lot. Actually, let's, let's try it out. So, we have Velvet Thunder. We have... Oh, that's a fast attack. I like that. Instant. Almost. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it is instant. Oh, wait a minute. Now we switched. Okay, what does the other do? Let's do F8. It's another magical attack. And then F9, it uses this mana sword. Okay, so this we need to charge. What's Fliché? Ooh, bloody cool. I was actually hoping... What brings me back? Ensure the next Velvet Thunder, Viera or Scatter can be cast immediately. How do I backtrack? Like, I, I, I was actually under the assumption, like, we have a skill that, like, would put us back as well. We also have dual cast. So that is that. It changed this one. When we had more points, it changed how this behaved. What do we have? It is interesting though. I can't fit everything. How much MP does that use? 300 is almost nothing. And this, it follows up by that. Is that only the secondary skill? And now it follows up with stone. So it does have follow-ups. So Velvet Thunder goes with Velvet Fire. Or Vert, Vert Thunder. If it has charges, you will go in with that. This will bring you in. One, two, three. This will need to go there. Be something like... So, but what does Fleece do? Whew. Area of effect, engagement. Let's put it in something like this. Acceleration is actually a must. 
because that brings the dual cast. Insures, Velvet Thunder and Aero Trigger, Velvet Ready and Velvet Stone Ready. Yeah, it's Fire and Thunder. Let's take a look. It is this one, isn't it? That does that, yeah. That ensures that for sure. Anything that Joel does. No. Ooh, that looks absolutely fantastic. And we're not using that much here. Interesting. Interesting indeed. We'll figure it out. I do need this somewhere. Acceleration seems incredibly important. We could use these skills because this is a step inward. No, this is a back step. Additional effect, back step. Oh, that goes in, this goes out. You go there. You go here. Then engagement, actually this, one, two, three, can't use that, okay let's take a look now, so we start with, what? no no we're not starting like that, we need F12, then F1, F4, to should trigger F5, which it doesn't right now. Then we could go Shift F7, go Shift. That's wrong. Oh no. That. Backstab. Backstab needs to be over there. Charge is nice. Lucid Dreams not really worth it. Because I don't see us using it much. So we'll keep it off there somewhere. I want to go... If, if I want to have a starter. Engagement is important. I want to go with acceleration. And I need backstab to be over here. This is the back step. Okay. F12. Thunder. Fire. And it's timed. Yeah, to go in. Okay, back. We'll see. Okay, well, enough playing around. Let's go. The Crimson Duelist already has a mission. Can't duel... Oh, yeah. Reset this. Let's go. We'll sidetrack again for, like, 20 minutes. If you have a good rotation, do let me know. That would really help. You know, I wouldn't have to Google it. Because we all know I end up doing that nevertheless. Uh, but I think that would work. Like, magic attacks, uh, normal attacks... We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, we know that now. We need to move the ad hot layout. You go here. Uh, let's move that a bit more tiny. It's a bit in your face, isn't it? It's over there. Yeah.
I press default. Alright, Tia. What do you want? Ah, uh, I see you got the guild in your eyeball. That in the eye that your soul crystal is surrendered to secret. Welcome to the ranks of the Red Mage. The art we practice is born of noble origin. It balanced and controlled energies were once uh, used to stem the tide of destruction and reclaim a future of des of the dispossessed. Dispossessed. I speak of an age some fifteen years as fifteen hundred years past. When the clash of two uh, sorcerers uh, civilizations brought about the sixth umbral calamity. Ere the great flood rose, people fled from their homes and into the mountain of uh, Gare Albania. Even mages of March and Andapur were to be found amongst the refugees. Those wizardly practitioners became targets of retribution. For the part they played in upsetting the natural balance and soon they shed their robes of black and vestment of white if people were to survive and rebuilding following the disaster however they would need the power of the arcane thus were the principles of black and white imaginary reinvented and upon the combination founded uh, on the combined foundation an entirely new discipline was built, the red magic. Yeah. Okay. And what else? But I have prattled on about history a uh, long, far better uh, than you experiencing red mage magic firsthand. The remnants. Their, rem rem their remains the mystery of who sent kidnappers after those poor girls. And I filmed adept. And I, I have a feeling I... Wow, what the fuck is this bullshit sentence? Ah, uh, I have a feeling adepts to unearth the culprit will provide the battle practice you require. Before we plug you into the fray, however, there's a few questions I would ask. Come to Western Talalan, to the Church of Saint Adama Landama. Which is, I think, actually quite nearby, but I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, it actually, it wasn't too far away. We'll get there. Now, we do need to make sure that we get ourselves some decent gear. And, like I said, a good rotation. Una, there you are. I would like to introduce you to Father Iliot. We already know him, but I believe the two of you are already acquainted. I am. I stole his son. Um, Tia told me the tale of nefarious spellcasters and the attempt to kidnap two young girls. Are you? Uh, and you wish to ask if this traumaturgical cable is known to me, yes? There are several such cults. Which come to mind, but I seen, but I must have more detail. You say each member shared some rather unusual trait. I, not one spoke over the entire exchange, not one shift in expression. When I urged them to yield, each of them also appeared branded with some manner of tattoo, a sigil pulsing with arcane magic or energy. Ah. An evil pra uh, practice. Such card signals are known to destroy the will of the bearer, resulting in a edible puppet which acts in much the manner you have described. There are no salvations for such wretched creatures. Then we must seek the fiends who put their s who pulls their strings. Pray learn what you can of this capable cab capable. And its purpose, Father. You know, we have another task to attempt. Might I suggest some light stretching before you step outside? You'll soon understand why. Okay, I, I don't need to stretch. Go away. I kind of want to get this over with. Yeah. 
Is he going to attack me? Yeah, we, we actually level sync to 52. Interesting. Uh, did you notice we were being followed? No. Very cable. We are investigating. Seems to be have taken an interest in us. How the hell do you know? I sense an ambush in the offing. Do they seek to silence us perhaps? Well, let them try. This will be a perfect opportunity to uh, for you to test your newly acquired skills. But first, a brief lesson. Resume spells belong to two discipline schools. Rooted as they are in the ancient discipline of black and white magic. Intertwined, they form a solid core of red magic. And through the balance casting of both disciplines, can a red mage build this foundation higher and higher? When your strength has reached its peak, that is when you launch forward and unleash the energies. Oh, okay, so we'll start doing casting. And when ready, we'll leap forward. Okay, cool. That is actually quite nice. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I have no intention of running or hiding from you. I wear a sword, as you can see, but I'm no, I'm not partial to violent. Okay, because you're a sword, you're not... Is there no chance we might attempt to parlay in lieu of bloodletting? Well, guess not. Okay, can I fight this place? Cool gear, though. I think this is the 130 gear. How unsettling. Well, it seems you'll have your battle. Remember what I've taught you. You didn't taught me anything, dude. And we have this small blue thing going on. So... We might need to change up the, the, the thing then. So we start with this. Engagement. No, the displacement is that. So we basically just keep doing these. Okay, white. Another white? Okay, what is this again? Okay, that didn't cost me anything. It is actually quite cool though. Okay, I need to time my... These are actually... You take, it feels like they take a long bloody time. Okay, what does this do? Gouge cost 20. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So it kind of makes sure that I can do that twice. Ooh. Then why do I need Jolt? Does it put any dot on? Maybe, maybe it puts on a dot. Like with the other mages. These puppets must have a leader lurking nearby. Let us take the battle to our ambushes, shall we? Ah, but before we resume the hunt, let us be sure of your technique. As a red mage, you are capable of casting two spells in rapid succession using what is known as dual cast effect. Intone a short spell, and you'll find that a lengthy incarnation can now be cast in an instant. Take advantage of this technique to bombard your foe with arcane destruction. Okay, what is the longest cast time we have? And we need to make sure that we use it in front of that then. Like, this is... So we actually need to use it before these. So it's going to be like engagement. Can I use that right now? I cannot do it right now. Now I can do it. Okay. 
doesn't work like that, huh? Okay, that's actually not what I wanted. These are the areas. That was actually fast. So we're almost getting there. This 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 thing is now starting to be burning. Yeah, that cast is annoying. But damn. Almost getting there. Four seconds is a freaking long time though. Was not paying attention there. Hey, you know what? Have he died? Was he the master? No, another orb. I'm paralyzed. We do it like that. We have charges, so we could be able to. Why does it not work with that? It says, like, now the cast is fast. What if I do 12? Still. When will it reduce my casting? No, don't want that. Use that. Now it does it instantly. So it is acceleration. Acceleration and then engagement, I think. Yeah, I'm still figuring out how to do the rotation. Like, I don't want to have my, my pants down in, in a dungeon or something. That would be annoying. Okay, instantly. But does not help me with getting stone. Why? Why is that? Oh. We could also do swift cast on the first one. Now we have dual cast. I'm too far away, it seemed. That, is this... Yeah, it is a, a, a in-your-face kind of tactic, this one is, then. Okay, so... Let's do this. Until it's empty. It's basically what they want, right? And then go six. So swift cast can go there. Again. And now it's instant. Okay, so it's two for the price of one. Oh, oh it delivers an attack. Maximum charge is two. Yeah, I'm too late because I'm, I'm in a different region. I was taking a look if I could use these. Okay. I don't like being min. And now it has a casting again. This makes no sense to me. Alright, let's take a look here. So this is the lightning. It does not have any dot. Okay, if I do two... What if I do Jolt now? I can still cast that because I have 30 seconds. So you can do it, the things in between then. Oh yeah, well, we'll get it to work eventually. Not right now though. Um, you have exceeded my expectation, which is a fortunate thing. For it did not anticipate the arrival of a fearsome hound. The mages were willing to forfeit their own lives to ensure 
that we would lose ours. Well, they failed. Did you see the brand of the left cheek? This is the cursed sigil which stole her will and left her vulnerable to most outrageous command. Our ambushes were young men and women, every one. All transformed for the mindless pawn by some hidden master. And this master has shown no compunction against sacrificing pieces that outlift their usefulness. No, this cannot stand. Okay. Okay, okay. Hit me, you know. We, um, you have begun education in red magic. There is a much more I would teach you. Come, let us uh, return to Lichard. Seriously? Oh, actually, that's actually quite nearby. Never mind. It's just just around the corner here. What am I whining about? He's still not buried. Fuck. Know the history of these graves? No, and quite frankly, don't really care. The church Lichard is the final resting place of many victims of the seven umbral calamity. Red magic was conceived in stern such tides of destruction, in an age where the abuse of sorcery flooded the world with death. Its indication from earlier discipline is key. While practitioners of black and white magic draw upon the ambient ether, a red mage weaves a spell using only the reserves of mana with which she was born in the era in which red magic was created to do otherwise was forbidden. To manifest more powerful effect, the first red mage adopted, adopted the method by which precise sword techniques would harness and amplify the energies of their spoken incarnations. The mage's own physical form served as an arcane accelerator, an ingenious way of preserving their self-imposed limitations. Understand that the blades you we wield is not simply a weapon, it is the focus of all our effort to lessen strife and suffering. Every generation of red, of red mage is part of an unending battle. We are soldiers who fight for those enduring, uh, enduring violence and subjugation. The bulwark against the unkind vagary, vagary, vagaries of faith. I don't know what that is. Vagaries. What's vagaries? 20 years ago I joined the revolutionaries in Alamigo and learned red magic alongside like-minded companions. We fought the Crimson Duelist and together we rose up against the tyranny of the mad King Theodoric. We were crushed of all the duelists, only I survived to watch our homeland uh, language under the rule of Imperial invaders. Even after leaving Alamigo, I never ceased fighting for its liberation and when I learned of the calamity, of the threat to all the lands of Eorzea, I allied myself with the valiant scholars of Shah Lalin. Oh, okay, so they're, they're back again. So it's definitely... I would definitely assume something with Heaven's Ward, but then again, you know, it could not be. This must be introduced then. In the end, I was unable to protect my homeland or halt the approach of the fierce free disaster. But, ne but never once in all those years I have I betrayed the oath of dualist sworn to champion the weak with the heart of steel. Yeah, great. Now, can we... Can we such is the nature of magic you will learn from this uh, idiotic, idealistic fool. If you would master the art, however, then my road shall become your road for the duration of our studies. I will remain with the church for the time being and be a pastor of the good father Irut until we uncover the ori origins of this cult. Your only chore shall be to reflect upon the lessons of today and prepare for our next encounter. Alright, cool. We'll do that. We'll do that and now we can finally get going. There we go, I think level 55? 52? Probably 52, yeah. Let's go. Oh, onward to Dragonheart. Time to get to Ishgard. Frick yeah.
There we go. Wait, I have to be here, right? Where is that? Oh, of course, yeah. Makes sense to be... You? I want to go inside. If, 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 if they're there. Okay, here's Elf, you know? Let's see if he stopped sulking. I like that. Very glowing gem. Oh yeah, he's still sulking. The dawn's light will shine again. So long as we have these specious accusations hanging over us, we will struggle to achieve anything. You must go to Ishgard, as Tataru proposed. I will return to Uldar and set things right. You're an idiot. Pray, do not be so hasty, Master Elfenor. <laughs> Thank you. Lord Orshifon. Full well do I understand your desire to clear your names. But now is not the time for drastic action. You yet have allies upon whom you can rely. There is no need to act alone. Ah, yes, true, though. It's true. Yes. Yes, of course. Pray forgive my impatience. You are forgiven. I bring tidings. Count Edmont has decreed that the three of you be taken in as wards of House Fortal. Under our patronage, you shall be granted access to the city proper. Hell yeah, finally! Pray, consider our manor your new headquarters, from which you may gather information and plan how best to proceed. Needless to say, should any of your missing allies be found, as I am certain they shall, they will of course be welcome to join you there. You are more than generous, my friend. On behalf of my fellows, I humbly accept your offer of hospitality. Damn right. The Count is a good man, and just. He will treat you with the kindness and respect that a hero and dear friend deserves. To Ishgard then, together. There we shall carry on the Scion's legacy. There we shall begin anew. I was actually uh, expecting Tataru to be more, you know, sulking, full of tears, but apparently she's fine with everyone not there. I must go on ahead and speak with the Count, fear not, however, for everything has been arranged. The sentries at the gates of justice, of us judgment, have been informed of our decision. You need but to state your names and they will allow you to pass. The Manservant shall be waiting for you at the city gates, ready to escort you to our manor. There we shall meet again. Until then. Also need to check every now and then. No. Alright, let's go. Let's go finally to Ishgard. Finally. Looking very much forward to that. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, okay, so I am not going to be able to pronounce your name. Geronimo. Geronimo? Geronimo. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. 
I'll figure it out. Can we just get on my bird, please? Yeah, we'll have to save here this moment because it will be a while. Especially in the new lands before we can fly again. It sounds... The, the clipping the bird. <laughs> uh, also, uh, we could probably... No, rank 9. Okay, that's fine. Quit your job, okay. Awards of Hands for Tap. Ah, yes, you may pass. Proceed to Ashgard. Hell yes, I will. Ah, uh, it and feels so they came at a friend's behest. I, why do I not get a coat? Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery, their names blackened with royal blood. True. With memories of the lost and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts, they came. Open the gate. Can't wait. So excited. I am absolutely excited. I can't help myself. There we go. To Ishgard, shining city on the mount. Shining. Overlooking the dominion of Curthus. A great and proud nation, devoted to Helone, the Fury, ruled by Thordin the Seventh. Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. The last bastion of the faith, her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. A land that after a thousand years of war had forgotten what it was to be at peace. Yeah, damn. That's one huge apple. Through gates long closed, the warrior of light and her companions passed, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. In the midst of the Dragon Song War, they came. Three weary travelers whose arrival would set in motion great change. Though none knew then how great. All right, so that's the man servant. From the memoirs of Count Edmund de Fortap. Fortan. Where was our Fortan? <laughs> Hell yes, finally. Greetings, mistress. On behalf of the House for Ton, I bid you welcome to Ishgard. The Lord humbly requests your presence at his residence in the pillars. If you would come with me... If you would come with me... He said very, very questioning. Uh, first things first, guys. First things first. Uh, we'll do a bit of a tour. Uh, there's a small... Uh, we need to tune. I think, I think we need to attune, I'm not sure if we, yeah, we should, probably. Yeah, definitely. We don't want to do this when we're, uh, you know, not close or nearby. Uh, there we go, what do we have over here? So you want to be a machinist? Let the clan hunt begin? It's a blue quest, which means that we, we're mandatory to take it up. Uh, luckily, it should only be... a bit of text about... You, you have the hunts when you join, um... One of the grand companies, and this is just an, um, 
an improved version of it, I would say. Yeah, an improved version or a higher version. These two will get, will go... Uh, that will also bring us to the pillars. We'll go here first to the Brune. Like, which is, it's kind of, it's, um, how do you say it, like, very, very poor area. Can I just jump off there? Man, it sucks. Thank you. Okay. And we'll go through the inn. But we need to go upwards then. Because the inn door is over there. Later there's something over there as well. But later. At 3.3 diadem. That is actually where... What I know of the game just stops. Okay, right, so here's a blue quest. Well, 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 what have we here? You look like you've seen a scrap or two. The name's... I think that? And I'm a proud member of Clan Centurio, the toughest band of warriors this side of the steppes. You've heard of the Hunt, right? The Grand Companies run it in the rest, in the rest of Eorzea. But up here it is the clan's concern. We follow the same system, but we're free to pick up, we pick our own marks. Reckon you've got the speed and strength and the head to take down some of the most ferocious fiends this side of the Seventh Hell. If you think you are up to the challenge, head downstairs and have a word with Ardolain. He'll fill you on, on the details. Right, so this is where you usually just go down here. Just, you jump. <laughs> clan Centurio members, and he also has the clan seals. Good evening to you, young lady. How can I be of service? Uh, so you fancy trying a hand at the hunt, do you? Well, if... If you reckon you're up to it, yeah, because I, I, I teen it reckons you're up to it, it isn't for an old man like me to say elsewise. Me and him are members of Clan Centurio, a ragtag band of glory hunters, Marcian, uh, mer mercenaries and head beings brought together by Sir... Wow. Lu... Uh, stay haste or something? One of Ishgar's most nobles of nobles. Wherever the monster grows too big for its boots. We're the ones who risk our necks to take it down. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. As long as you can wield a weapon and you don't fear death. You'll always be welcome in the clan. Take me for instance, I was born a thousand moms from here. But now, I am one showing the new recruits the ropes. So, how about it, young lady? Will you be joining us in the hunt? If the fame and the glory is not enough for you, perhaps the rich rewards we offer might change your mind. Welcome to the clan. Uh, what was your name again? Une? Was it? Alright, put your name in the book. Now, I suppose you'll be wanting to take a look at some of our marks. Head upstairs, to out the door, the clan board is on the wall outside. Round to the left, you'll better stick to the level 1 marks for the uh, nuns. No point in running before you can walk and make sense. Uh, let's take a look at the clan seals over here. We have dome and gear. Wait, we have dome and gear? I, ca I, I can't do it anyways. Okay, that's kind of sad. What else? Okay, nothing over there. Okay, uh, again. Okay, magic and warriors. Oh, come on, just show it to me. Uh, fine. I just wanted to take a look at what it looked like. Come on, man, jeez. 
I... Until you meet the following conditions. Wait, 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 what? What are you talking about? You cannot complete this quest until you're the following match of Disciple of Magic. Level 53! Whatever! Whatever! As a new member of Clan Center, you're permitted to take bills for level 1. Okay. Defeat monsters, exchange... Yeah, exchange that. What do we have? Uh, we get actually a decent amount of XP. Nothing too fancy. Like, we need... Uh, about 500. 14 is not that much. We get a thousand gill and three seals. Okay. Yeah, that's going to take forever. Now, what do you want? Uh, so, you know how are you? I can see why the old rogue signed you up. You've got fire of a born hunter burning in your eyes. I wage in those level one marks. Don't offer much of a challenge to a burly girl like you. You'll be wanting to spice things up a little. Am I right? Let's put my back on social. Uh, then, what are you waiting for? Head down to to the fella and tell him you're ready for more. Sure. I, Because why not? Alright, oh, I'm ready for more. So, Ustasia reckons you're ready to move on to the bigger and better things, does he? Wait, already? How does she know? Uh, if that girl had her way, she would be throwing babies in the river to sort out the swimmers from the sea. Oh, damn, that's that's actually quite black. Ooh. Thinks you might be going into something. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you a chance, but level 2 marks ain't nothing to be sniffed at, understand? Let your guard down for even an instant, and you'll be handing your posterist. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want to be on the platter. Take a look at the clan bot. Okay. Okay, well, just go back up again. We'll go back up again. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. We'll get there. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. You, okay, this is a joke and a half. So it's so it's very much level based then. Fine. What do these do? Still a thousand. Did you get one seal more? Okay. I guess that's fine. We'll um, go to this eater shot. Uh, see, we did do everything over here, right? Yeah. So let's head over to to the pillars. We'll head there later. Pillars is up. There. Good. Yeah, if someone knows the rotation of this, do let me know. I've got, I, I, I'm too lazy to look it up right now. Just of it. Okay, this map is... Oh, it's oriented. Oh, what's your sign? So that would be... Probably the Astrologian. Oh, do I dare to pick it up right now? Um, I think I, you know, the problem with the MSQ right now will be it's very level based. I don't think we have time to pick up multiple classes. Yeah, we have time enough, I know. We'll, we'll pick it up uh, next time. The Dark Spectacle is most likely the Dark Knight. So we have two classes over there that I kind of do want to pick up. Do it. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so for this, for Heavensward, we would have 
Um, I'll pick up both. Fine, I'll pick up both. So we'll, we'll not do a lot of MSQ stuff today, I'm sorry. Greetings and welcome to the Authentium Astrologium. Oh god, don't make me say that a few times. Perhaps you were... By the way, Keisha, how, have you do... how are you doing? I've not seen you in a while. Perhaps you were drawn in by, by faith to place of learning. Or perhaps you wish to know more of faith itself. I don't need no more faith. Just, just give me the class. We were wiser come Hilda. For the, star, the, for the stars are written. The face of every woman and man in Heidelin. It was here in the stars that I read of a, a woman would call upon the Ephraim this very day. That's so sad. A woman who would play an important role in my own life. Ah, uh, but my apologies. Even the most skilled reader cannot scry a name from the heavens. Would you be so kind as to give me yours? So I might know who is the newest protege. Yeah, because it was actually uh, I don't know if I have you on my on my own. Uh, only had time to log on in my nights for static rate twice weekly. Oh wow, I'm sorry to hear you're so busy. Ah uh, well, I was not expecting that, but that is a name. What are you mocking me? He's mocking my name. Well, I was not expecting that. But what is a name? Hmm. But an attempt by our begetters to wield power over the lives of their sons and daughters. Lives whose pa uh, paths have already been foretold, in a sense, that is... My name is... <clears throat> oh, you absolute ass. Jen... Jen Quin... Quinnet? Jen Quinnard. Jen. Jen or the Durandere, and I am an astrologian for the Holy See. Remember that name, for I shall echo forevermore in the annuals of Ishgardian history. Well, it will once I put it there. Once we put it there. Alright. Uh. Wait, what? Are you joking? Like I'm I'm getting velvet crowl? Oh <laughs> what the fuck? Now, where to begin? I suppose I could consult my divining deck of an answer, but that would be too easy now, wouldn't it? Very well at be uh, at the beginning it is. Astrology or the reading of the stars is a branch of ephorological science which originated in Destin Charlelin. There have been astrologians in Isgards for thousands of years, but it wasn't until three centuries ago when Adundal. I, I, I'm absolutely horrible at names. I am so sorry. Yo, Ida, how are you doing, man? Welcome to Heaven's Web. Oh, man, it's good. It's good. It's already good. I just love the setting of this house alone. Like, I'm, I won't leave it for the next hour, I think. Because my readings... What the fuck's that? Someone forgot to dress when they woke up this morning. Learn really young learned that the movement of the stars could also be used to foresee the movement of the Dravonian Horde. And that the field uh, and that the fields became popular. Since then, what was once a single science has befurcoat, befurcoat, befurcoat into two sim a similar yet untimely different schools of learning: the Shaolin School of Astrology and the Isgardian School. The former placing a focus on tapping celestial ether and transforming it into beneficial magic and astro astromancy. The latter 
specializing solely in determining the actions of our dragon enemies to the north. I am a student of the former, the only student of the former here in Ishgard, and have been actively seeking a partner to whom to conduct my research. Let us just say that my fellow astrologians here have been less than approving of my path. But it's simply because they are afraid of what they do not know. Once they do know of how the Shaoling astrology can befit the sea and its soldiers, they will see, they will feel foolish for ever having doubted me. Ah, us. It's, it's all about him. And I can't read shit for the moment. I'm very sorry about that. But dyslectic, like crazy, can't help it. You will be joining me, will you not? Walking the path as has been laid out before you, instead of stubbornly denying our faith, of your faith, postponing the inevitable. Okay, just, just give me the rope. Give me the rope and the soul stone. I see you waste no time in making your decision. Like I always say, the stars are never wrong. Alas, even a lifetime of study and training cannot unlock all the secrets written in those stars. Myself, I have been a student of the astromantic arts for more summers than I can count. Wait, what? You forgot how old you are? No, no, it's not true. He's not talking about his age, but he just forgot when he joined up. You can look up your name in the book. Maybe, maybe that will help. And I still often misread the signs shown to me in the skies, though my readings are far more accurate now than they were when I attended the Ateneum Ateneum in Charlalaine not the Charlalaine mind you the colony that once strived in Dravonian hinterlands I can recall my time there like it was but yesterday the first six moons I now he knows see how many moons he was there it was not even allowed to touch the desk of 60 the deck of 60 never mind of the desk is the deck of 60 let alone conduct a reading with the major arcana most of my time was spent in the scriptorium transcribing old tomes on astrological fundamentals such as the sixth elemental houses divine duplicity class triplicity house well, more duality and polarity, pol polar polarity, <sighs> dignity versus detriment. I abhor the task and would tirelessly pester my instructors, instructors as to where I might acquire uh, action when, as to when I might acquire. Why do I say acquire? As to when I ac might actually be granted the opportunity to, to weave a spell or perform a reading. It wasn't until the next of the sixth moon that I realized all the transcribing had prepared me for the essentials I would need uh, to do those very things. The position of the celestial bodies within the six elemental houses and their relation to the majority and minor arcana of the deck of sixty. Therein uh, lie the secrets to tapping the ether power locking, uh, locked in the heavens, and soon you will become privy to those secrets. But not this day. No, no, I would not have you transcribe much old tomes, musty old tomes, like I was once forced to do. No, the task I have for you is much more interesting. You see, I'm expecting an arrival of a very important guest my old mentor from the st studium has agreed to make the journey from the old world to Ishgard and to speak with the Holy See regarding the implementation of Shalalin astrological technologies in steady state defenses alas the professor and his parties are now f fully seven days late while well, they died yeah, that's it. They, they died. Seven days. And I have begun to worry for their safety only after seven days. I would be much more ob 
polite. Therefore, if you would inquire, if you would inquire, if you would inquire of the other astrologians here at the Astinurium, if they have heard aught. Yeah, man, they died. Uh, I don't even have to ask. They just don't want to tell you because they all think you're weird. That, that's what's going on. Why would Lord Jen think I had information on the whereabouts of a handful of unbelievers that crossed the Bloodbrine Sea? I am an astrologian, not a fortune teller. I cannot simply look to the stars and try the location of the Viscount's guest. Unless his guests are dragons, that is. I suppose if anyone knew odd, it would be at the observatorium we were uh, wait we here at the Astinium are but students dedicated to the research those with any influence in our fields are assigned to the astroscope oh, if I knew reading this would give me a headache <laughs> My god, let me guess, the good lord Jen said he saw you in a vision and that the stars told him you were, stu were to study the shelling astrology with him. Am I close? You must be the hundreds of his little pets to pester me with this week alone. It is tough as reading the stars himself. It's true, man. It's true. I'll harbor no ill will towards ignorant unbelievers, unlucky enough to find themselves caught up in talks of stars and fortune. But you uh, may tell that story, excuses for an astrologian, for the upteenth time that I heard not, conc not concerning his imaginary friends from far away Shaolin. Just do not tell the Viscard I called him an ex sorry excuse for an astrologian, alright? Yeah, you kind of don't want to be calling the nobles like that, is it? Okay. Do I have to go outside? Seriously? Of course I do. Uh, how do I pronounce that name? It's, 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 it's most likely French, so I can't work it out. Jean, Jean, so probably like Jean something. Is still waiting for a word of missing silent instead of actually making the effort to find him, is he? Of course he is. It is a, it is any wonder that in the nearly 15 years since he returned from Shadowland, his skill in astro, men, astromancy has remained unchanged. Any wonder that he has never yet managed to convince a single peer of the value of the Sherilyn school. He is a privileged little sprat who spends more time gazing at the stars in, uh, stars in young maiden's eyes than actually trying to read the ones above his head. All right, all right, you tell the poor man I just returned from the observatorium and one night at the communal festal hall happened to overhear chief astrologian Forlamont speaking with one of his aides regarding Shalaling. He was visibly upset and I wasn't about to risk my career over something I cared little about. So I merely put my head down and ate my beet soup. But that is all I know. And I did not hear from and you did not hear it from me. Yeah, they died. Uh, Master Folomo, and I thought his day could not get any, any worse. Let me get something to drink. How are you doing, Lord? How are you doing, Lord Doctor?
Cheers, mate. Oh. Um. Okay, who got in? You've got in for 10 minutes to be out for 30 seconds. Right. It's like 28 outside. Okay, Master Forlamon, then I thought this day could not get any worse. Ah, oh no, I'm not suggesting that meeting you in any case was unfortunate. It is just uh, that uh, I may not be in the best interest to be seen together. Uh, wait, well, what? It may not be in our best interest to be seen together as of yet. We've been seen together for the last 15 days. I'm running out of points to use for that. Then you need to be tuning in more. Um, there are certain people in the sea who do not approve of my studies. Oh, who the fuck cares about what they think? Couple... Couple there. Oh my god. How to do that when the stream? Well, I'll sleep more. Nah, that's just excuses. That's okay, my dogs are now both in. Uh, coupled up with the fact that you're an outsider and an unbeliever, and well, people may come to the wrong conclusion. No, I'm, I don't. Now go away. We must act with caution until we can prove that your intentions are just and for the good of all Ishgard. So I must ask you to travel to the observatorium alone and meet me there. Fine. Okay, so how is the rotation of the astrologian going? You you were astrologian, right? Or were you sage, Kisha? Ah, someone had been doing extreme. Probably unsynced. No, but I, I, I get it, man. It's it's definitely difficult. Uh, next week I'll have a uh, going through the night thing again. Astro. Cool. I'm very interested in hearing how that rotation works. Because the, the red mage, I honestly, I don't know. Astro attack spam. Okay, I can do that. Nah, actually, the Astro, did, that, does that heal with um, attacks? Or is that the Sage? Regen. Okay. Damn, this tower, dude. Oh, that's serious. Come on. Uh, sage heals. Okay, so that's this sage attacking heals. Okay, well, we'll get... Before they think I'm here to raid them. That would be bad. Uh, allow me to apologize again for not accompanying you here. As for... Our business with the chief astrologian, you may leave the talking to me. Then why am I here? Ah, Jen, I might have known it would be you. Who else would be so indecent as to drag an outsider into this holy place of observ uh, observation? We've already talked to you, dude. You have always an unhealthy possession with the foreigners. This 
it's why you are a wor wow why you are worthless to the Ephatorium now as you were when you returned from that hidden city a decade and a half since but the stars they can serve us in other ways they're merely revealing then the horde will attack the powers can be tapped the ether within can be used for the ether should be left B the ether should be left B as history taught you not about the folly of the Nymians, the um, Mdapori, the, so the Mdapori, okay, that's the red mage who, who talked about that. The others two, I don't know. Astro has heals that do damage. Astro has heals that do damage. Isn't that like very counterproductive? Uh, my uncle, the Shaolin, who has been building astrology for ages without disrupting the ethereal balance, his power combined with his guardian astrology could be what is needed to turn the tide in this thousand year conflict. Moreover, I have reasons to believe that our masters at the vault agree as they've given me their blessing to continue my research. I did not come to trade barbs with you, Nuncle. Nuncle, let us save that for another time. I'm here because I have come, it has come to my attention that you may have information as to the whereabouts of Professor Mays and his party from Shadowland. Yeah, they died. For someone who says he is not here to trade barbs, you have given quite generous in dealing of them today. If it means you will leave and allow me to return to my work, I'll be more than happy to let you know what information found its way to my desk just yesterday morning. Uh, Earthly Star, for example. Oh. Servant Reaver sighted in the foul weather, preventing the professor's ship from entering the Strait of Meltor, where they would have made their way up to the Maiden and into quarters. After detouring around the south of the Valbrand, they finally disembarked at Vesca Bay and they took the land route along the Royal Ellen Sunway to the black. How good is that telescope of theirs? Like, frick. It is there, it seems, they lost their way. A lost astrologian. <laughs> Uh, it is as my morning reading predicted. Delamut has in the turnant in the house of the spire while ascending to uh, sp uh, ascending over the. What is this guy's deal? Serious? It is as my morning reading predicted. Delamut has in the turnant in the house. Of the spire while ascending over the ecliptic? Una, you must journey to the Black Shroud and assist Professor Mays. Allow me to introduce you to the Quimperin. He is the he is my prefer a, a personal manservant, probably him, and shall accompany you. Oh, they laugh. They love this stuff. They sure as hell do. Like when they were making this game in Japan, they're like, how would the other peoples of the world talk? It must be 15 centuries. He is not one of conversation, but his sword arm is amongst the best in all the pillars. He should see you safe if any danger were to befall you. And something tells me danger lurks on the horizon. Great. I, at least I could do a full sentence. There you go, he is now my manservant. It is a pleasure to serve you, my lady. I shall to make haste to Quay Mill. And await you there. Welcome to these guardians, aka England during the reign as an empire. Oh, that is just great. Which was that? Like, the, that would be the 14th. Yeah, 14, 15, and 16, probably. 
When, when it was when was England an actual empire? Uh, my history on England. Meh. I think like Henry the Seventh and his is is, is 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 amazing amount of wives was like fourteen fifteen or something. Fourteen fifty. My lady, I have questioned the residents of this hamlet and learned that a party of query dressed outsiders passed through, but not a bell ago. It would not prove over overly difficult to find them now, but before we begin, I must. Take a moment of your time. I wouldn't dare utter aught ill to my master, of my master, but his recent fixation with finding a protege, I believe it ill considered. His passion, however pure, has left him with more than one enemy within the astrological community. Lord Formont has seen to this. I fear not only for how his name might be sullied, but for his life. I beg of you, pray do not drag him any further down into this... Quagmire? Let him quietly babble in his dream, but let it remain at that, a dream. No good will come of encouraging him. Or encouraging him. It will only hurt the Viscount and his family. You must remember that while I serve Lord Jen, it is his uncle. Fuck. The Count who employs me. Now, as for the task at hand, I suggest we find the way where we travel us and hurry back to our respective herds. I shall eat. Might I ask you to take the rear and see that none might take us unawares? You didn't teach me anything just yet. Uh, 1400 late, 18 early 90s, the colony started to fight back. Okay, so. I've seen um, there was this series, I think, like Netflix, about. The, the royalty like Elizabeth not not um what's it what's the the late queen called again them uh what's her name I've already forgotten the mother of Charles Elizabeth okay the second there you go okay okay seems like these these hooded guys are there yeah, uh, and, and that's when, like, India broke off and some of the others as well. I think her father's name was Ed Edward then? Yeah, probably something like that. But these guys are not having the best of days. And so, oh, wait, no, he's the sage, probably. These are the shallons we seek, and it appears they have found themselves some trouble. This is the longest intro story like ever. Unhand my grandfather! There you go. Thumbnail for YouTube. For the VOD. Ah, feisty. We'll fetch a fine prize for one of them. Pleasure barge. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, that stone is reacting. To me. The soul has spoken. And he's co so confused. Where are the guys? Okay, he's now going to be killing all of them. Right now. Wait, what? Grab the old man. These wizardry uh, types carry on them all manners of begemmed babbles and golden trickets. Free jam. <laughs> Canada was given up later than India. Well, Canada, is, I think, is still part of the, like, Commonwealth or something? Wait, it, it, 
is Canada part of the UK? No, it's not. But it is part of the British Commonwealth of Nations. The Commonwealth is an association of independent countries known as the realm within the Commonwealth. So it's still part of the Commonwealth. But it's not being ruled by England. It joined in 1931. Wait, what? Uh, why am I doing this right now? Yeah, they were just like giving them. They were handing out colonies. They just, just take some. Up or I'll toss you into shankles. But seriously, come on, let me. What the? F you want to see the old man again? Leave us, girl. Leave us the girl. Try anything, and he's dead. Wait. Why? Why are they? They were only interested in the old fart. What? <laughs> Why? And they didn't see this. Grandfather Soul Crystal, why would he leave it here? Surrendering any power he might have had to free himself from those bandits. I, 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 I don't know, Lord. I, I just read what Google tells me. You know, I'm a Google slave. Unless... You were the one he saw in his reading before he left the old world. But that was more than a moon ago. My grandfather scryed from the cards that he would serve as a bridge for countless souls to be passed to another. Might you be that other? No, it's him. These men of forests are careless. Tracking them will be no diff uh, difficult to feat. Wait, wait, tracking them will be no difficult feat. I shall follow and strike before they had even time to regroup in numbers. No, you don't need to. And he's like, oh yeah, okay, I'll listen. The stars have spoken and the lad and laid their path not before you but before the adventure here. So you cannot save my grandfather, it has to be me. Here you go. Take a stone. I like an outfit though. You, you must take the soul, uh, the soul of the soul of the astrologian and place it near your heart. Listen to the tales of those who walk before you and know their journeys as you do yours. It doesn't say that I know. As for the tools you require and the knowledge needed to wield them, I leave 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 Sounds like a magical spell. Shall see you those matters. So you're going to be giving me the rope. You saw there was no fear in my grandfather's eyes when the band, uh, bandits took him. This is because he has seen you come to his rescue. Our lives were written in the stars long before we dropped upon this land. It is not by chance that you stand here today with the soul of the astrologian in your hand. It is faith. Yeah, right. Okay. Sure, sure, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. It's faith. Just give me your grandfather's stone. Okay, so we get horrible outfits. Okay, so you'll have to tell me how I absolutely need to do this. Because this is going to be half as messy as this. Yeah, okay. The, okay, the client for now. Uh, do we have the weapon? Yeah. Put that. Astro is a healer. I need to change that, how this is set up, actually. So we'll do healers over here. We'll do tanks over here. And we'll do, like, DPS. Over here. 
Because I'll also get the Dark Knight. Let me get some clothes on. Yes, because this is not that type of a party. You're joking. I didn't even get... Paladin stuff. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's level 30. It is level 30. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. Wait, what did I delete? Uh, deals on spectre damage. So this is a damage spell. Let's get you over there. Fast over there. Damage. You. Restores targets. HP. With a curing potency of 450. Yeah, you know. That, but what of the red mage? What of the red mage then? Repose is a sleeping spell. As tuna I want to have on free. This deals uh, unexpected damage over time. So this is my dot. Which I like over there. Light speed. Reduces cast time for spells. Restores own HP and the HP of all nearby target members. What is the radius? 15, huh? Uh, it's about here then. That's actually not bad. MP cost is 700. Go potency is... 3.30. What is this? Resurrect the target to a weakened state. So this is my resurrection. Okay. Restores the target's HP of 700. Why do I... Okay. Uh, fine. Loot like this. Draw a, core, a card from your divine deck. Only one Arkham can be drawn at a time. Can be triggered to use action play. So this is the action on draw. And this is play. Balance draw. The balance. Damage dealt is increased. Okay, so we're basically buffing me. Combustion is your dot. Manifix basic damage spell. Okay. Is this party white? Is this just for me? It restores 5% of my maximum MP. So you basically use this to get MP back. Just you. The spear. Increases damage dealt by a party member or your or self. So we can target someone. Or me. But what do we undraw? Uh, restores target's HP curing potency of 400. Potency increases up to 900 as the target's HP decreases. Oh? Hey, it's instant. It doesn't have any costs. Reaching its maximum value with a target 30% or less. Wait, what? The recast... Um, yeah, the recast is absolutely massive. I would definitely take this as sort of your Benedict. As a white mage. Alright, let me do some of the stuff that I usually do. Um, that would be... Swift cast over there as well. We need lucid dreams over there. Kind of don't need that, but we'll keep it. And I need swift cast over there. Lucid dreams and light speed. 
over there because it seems like we could potentially use this. Yeah, they would make some of these like instant. That is so damn powerful. Uh, so this is party members. This is oneself. This is going to be that. Okay, cool. Shit gear, but still cool. Uh, the ball are range DPS. Lucid is MP during generous. Yeah, I, I got those on my... I, I, that's why I've set them up like this. Uh, I have it same, same here like this. So this is going to be mind over presence. This is area stuff in a party. Putting on some regen. Curing. Astuna. Uh, resurrecting. Oh, Respose needs to be over there. Okay, fine. You go there. Not that I have muscle memory or anything. I just like it to look neat. I need it actually in order for sanity's sake. I, I need it over there as well. And I'm butt naked again. What is wrong with me? Alright, you. Tell me. Now, listen carefully, for we, have not, we haven't much time. The star globe which you hold is both your sword and your shield. It will grant you strength as well as protection. But most important of all, it will grant you uh, insights into the current location of the stars. In, uh, enabling you to channel the heaven ether into your body for use in all manners of magic. The better attuned you become with the heavens and their malefic and benefic bodies. Okay, so this is your assault and this is your healing. The better that ether might be manipulated to bring soccer or pain. Ah, but as you already know, the star globe is not the only tool an astro astromancer has at her disposal. Yes, the arcana, or more specifically the sixth major arcana playing a different role in what type of astrologian you will become. Any layman will tell you that the cards can predict a man's future. This is both true and untrue. It is not the future that a card predicts, but the card influencing the man so that the so that a certain future becomes a more attainable so because you go to someone who has been telling you your fortune you're starting to pick up on certain things that he told you wherefore you make it true is that how they tell try to say Seeking to tell a man's fortune, you draw a draw from your deck. Upon reading the card, you scry that the man will be victorious in, coming, in the coming battle. What it, What is it what brings this man his victory but ether tapping from one of the lower six heavens, granting the man strength, making it all that much easier for him to... See, okay, so he, basically, he knows there's going to be a battle and he will be victorious. Therefore, he fears the battle less. Yeah, man, that sucks when he dies. He's like, fuck, man, he's, he lied to me. I don't think he files a complaint. Don't think he will. Of course, what card is draw is linked directly to the target's destiny, as well as yours. Are you the one who will see this man to fortune, or you will lead him to downfall? It all depends on your reading. Normally, I would not dare cover so much on the first lesson but it is my grandfather who has placed his life in your hands and i am not about to watch him have his throat slit because you cannot tell the face of an arcana from its back we have two seemingly capable soldiers here to take the brunt of the bandits blow okay you guys are fucked uh, allow them to Carve a trail of carnage while you convince the stars to nudge the two in a direction favorable to my kin. I understand this must be a lot to digest, but if you are ever to become a capable astrologian, you must believe in the path laid out before you and in the power to read it. Follow it and ultimately control it. Take some time to accommodate yourself to the new stabilities. And let me know when you are ready to begin. I already did this. I'm 
ready to begin. Oh, sh I didn't read. Uh, let's take to the shadows and find out where the bandit is holding my grandfather. Okay, well, no, that's fine. Oh, look at that. We're being up-leveled to 40 34. How nice. Okay, but, but tell me this, then. Red Mage. Red Mage would do the same, right? Why do we have... Okay, let's play. Let's go. Let's just get a card ready. Play that. So let's start with a dot. Get the sharp right. Ooh, they didn't do it instantly. It's easy, man. You. Ooh, nice. Oh, I like that. That's actually going quite fast. Uh, Une, the powers is, is your own. Ha! <laughs> Fine. What do you mean? Would do the same? I, I, I don't even know what I ate for, like, lunch. I don't know what I just said. What do you want me to do now? Okay. I don't know where to go. Oh, they are following me. Great. Alright, let's go. You first. Okay, so it does take as long as the others. It's probably one of my strongest attacks till at least then. You know, you don't get the right to heal yourself. Go away. Okay, that's still looking good. Mashed potatoes with some cream mustard and deep. You had mashed potatoes with some cream mushroom sauce? I don't think so, no. Oh, look at that. There's an arrow. I quite like this. I wonder... We definitely want to get some guest speed, I guess. In my rope. It's a dead mouse. Uh, need to remember to use light speed. You are, you're horrible guys, you know that. Like, uh, you already saw me going there. What I need is regen. That's what I need. Could you just do your job, please? Hello? Take him down. Thank you. For sake. Help these days. What's that? Damage dealt is increased. Oops. That's actually quite nice. What's this? Arcaning blessing AP restored by fire magic is increased. For four minutes? Did I do that? I don't think so. I need to remember to cast these more.
damage dealt is increased. Okay, it's important that I do that. Trauma touch. What do you do actually? Nothing. I quite like this to be fair. It's it's it feels a bit more natural than with the scholar. Like you have some direct healing. And I quite like the the damage things. Like I like the playing with the cards though. It's constantly damage increase. So basically it, all it does is it regenerates your H or your MP. I knew you were going to do that. No way. Hey Fred, how you doing man? Any news on the um, the auction? Also, we uh, we queued up the Ether Wheel Stand Six. We lost. Oh. Okay. So, what are we going to do now then? Continue onward to the next one. We'll have to wait for a few days. Uh, we just need to make sure that the money that we put in that is back in the FC bank. So I, I think we can look into the Discord to see what it like, uh, how much it was. Do I get an area of effect uh, DPS? I think so, right? Damn annoying that we lost again. How many times did we not be locked? Uh, we, we have not won the voting for the last... Who won? Well, apparently not us. I don't know. I did not place a bet, so I can't tell you. Okay, he got a troll. Nice. Uh, gravity. Ooh, sounds nice. You can't just select them like that, huh? Okay, we'll deal with the, uh, the marionette. Uh-oh. Yeah, shit, I saw it happening. You idiot. How many people were actually in the uh, in the boat? I uh, will. I'll make sure that you can't tap them. Like I wish you would be able to get those NPCs in here, like so. Six, so we got one there, five more cards then. Okay. No, don't do that. This one, play that. You. Keep an eye on my my dude over there. 
Like, what's her job? What, what, what's her job, by the way? Because it doesn't seem she has one. She's just standing there looking gorgeous. Okay, you, mate. You need some better gear. Dying, seriously, failing a, a job, simple as that. That's just, that's not fair, man. Here we are again. Hardly goes up with him. Wait, is this this is where he died, didn't he? No, no, it isn't. Damn treatment. Man, that regen is so nice. The 5% is so good. Yeah, how is Wayfinder going, Fred? Like, are the services now finally, you know, good? And how is the, um, how is the guild going? Actually, I like this class. I quite like it. Okay, here's a sphere again. Getting real fun at higher levels. Can't wait, actually. I really can't. Okay, let's heal him this time. Don't forget, we're a healing class. Avoid that eye. He... Oh, okay. He had two patrols. Also, Lucid Dreaming on, on uh, White Mages or Priests is actually quite good. Alright, we should be fine now.
I was not told there would be two astrologians. Enough of this. Damn. Yeah, okay, so we need to pick something and just go with a bit. Yeah. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll start selling air, air, uh, airship parts. I am Quiperain. In the employment of Lord Jan, I'm sent to escort you back to Ishgard. Are you unhurt, me lord? Look at him go, man. I love the gear. For a girl? No. Jan, you say. And where is my former student? His constant gesturing is one of the reasons I agreed to take this long trip from the old world. I see none but Quimplains and this adventurer. I too have shown see no other. Just like you didn't see those bandits until the knives were up our arses. But that is of no matter. It was all as the staff foretold. Oh great. It's a good thing I play as a girl then, huh? Yeah. Yes, I saw this adventure long before even setting foot in this accursed continent. When the Arcana whispered and told me I would find a worthy successor to my soul crystal. And having witnessed how she eased into her new role, but mere moments after taking up the crystal, globe and deck. Yeah man, I'm a natural. Yeah, I knew at once my reading was true and that this adventurer was the astrologian I have been seeking. But now let us see if she has the potential for greatness within her. Okay, so now what? Clearly, this this must be it, right? Look into the skies, you know, and there you will see six stars glowing in pale yellow. This is the bowl. Uh, uh, okay. I see one, two, three, four. That's probably five. Would that be six? Whatever. This constellation is thought to be the gate of the first heaven. The heavens which hold the world tree, planted by the matron and nurtured by the keeper. The world tree is a source from which all life is said to have sprung. Oh, <laughs> there they are. The truck of the world tree, or the bowl, grants strength to the weak, allowing them to stand firm in the face of adversary. Oh, fuck yeah, that's nice. Um, you, you have now opened the gate and the power is yours to command. Oh, shit, too late, I think. Bloody shame. A solid ball represents a solid foundation. It is not a coincidence that this very constellation is risen to mid-heaven at this very moment. The moment of a new astrologian birth. And to think I saw all this a moon ago. It seems I am a better reader of faves than I thought. <laughs> but I jest. It has been a long journey with more than its share of unexpected excitement. I am an old man and one does not need a deck or a cana to see that my weary legs will not carry me much longer. Let us make haste to Ishgard so I can give that ungrateful Jen a proper unbranding. Ungrateful? Oh, okay. Uh -uh. I think he misunderstood. Okay, then, um... We need to go there. 
teleport over there. So we'll... Uh, should we just pick up Dark Knight as well, since we're so on the roll on getting new classes? Then I have the three classes I want to play with during this expansion. going to be so scolded. I can't wait. Hope it's voiced. Of course not. Jen, 15 summers passed and still the flippant clot I lost. And still the flippant clot. I lost half of my hair tutoring, sending an adventurer to find the man you summoned halfway across Heidelin. Always taking the easy route, and you wonder why you still haven't been able to open the second heaven's gate. Um, um, allow me to explain, Professor. You see, I was waiting here in case you made it to Ishgard before my men, servant, and Une could locate you. Think of the confusion had you arrived here only to find the Athenium empty. Wait, how did you know I haven't opened all the gates? My grandfather is the greatest astrologer in all of Sherlin. There is not he doesn't know unless he doesn't wish to know it. You, of all people, should know that. Yet she's watching only grandfather. Perhaps I was hastened in my decision to remain here and see to your training. Oh my poor girl. Train me? You... What of the Professor Mays? Isn't that why he made a journey? My grandfather has already completed his task. He simply came to Ishgard out of courtesy to an old pupil. One who it appears he wasted years on. And he's smirking, I love that. Look at that smile on his face. Wasted? What, what are you implying, my lady? <laughs> ah, my dear Javeva. You still do not see it, do you? Without Jen stumbling into my tutelage nearly two decades past, he would not have been taking this adventurer under his wing and sent her to us in his stead. It was all as the stars had planned. Poor lad, why are you complaining about losing half of your hairs then? Your soul crystal, professor. This adventurer has stolen your soul crystal. Wait, seriously? That's what you're now accusing me of fevery, you bastard? <laughs> Even the unobservant Jen. See, it's called Jen. I was tell telling it all right, all along. If the adventure had stolen my crystal, Leviva would have read up some terrible fate for the lass. Now, Une is my successor. Not her, not him, me, of course. Something I mistakenly thought you might be. But even I cannot see every future, it seems. But do not despair, I have not given up on you completely. Despite your failings, you have tried your best to promote the, uh, the Shalalin School of Astrology here, in this den of fools who failed to see all, all that beyond the Dragon Star. I wish to see you continue that fight, and that is why I've bade Livia to stay here and further you, further your and this adventurous training. I see, this is rather overwhelming. Might I have some time to consider your word? No. Slap him. See? No. I can read the cards perfectly as it is. You either continue your training with me and your um, protege, or you'll crawl back to obscurity. I shall give you both several turns of the sun to study the basics of the Shaolin astrology. It should not be so hard for you, Jen, considering you've had a substantial head start. Once you've committed the once you've committed the basics to memory, then return here. In the meantime, I will be traveling in Eorzea, searching for locations where Une and you will unlock the remaining Heaven's Gate. 
But you only recently set for, uh, only recently set upon by bandits. But traveling alone so soon is unwise. Don't you think I know that? That's why you will be lending me the service of your able manservant. Modern slavery. I will. I mean, yeah, I will. Of course. Uh, my lady, anything for the grand daughter of Charlene's finest professor of astrology. You heard the lady? He's like, fuck my life. Very good, I shall see my grandfather to the airship landing now. What? Wait, what? Oh, of course, yeah, they had to land. Wait, they know they went by ship. That's so confusing. This still makes no sense. They they went if they went by airship right off the bat, you know, that this wouldn't have happened. No shit. Okay. Now since we're on the roll anyways, and uh, we're still doing the uh, the walk. The walk of walks also, by the way, did everyone do the event yet and got this Power Ranger outfit. Okay. I did it as well um, at work. I got in from over... Let me just take all of this and then we end up with the dark, uh, dark one. This is wrong. Um, yeah. Uh. Oh, I need to go up. Never mind then. Still, man, just walking here just, just feels so good. You know, I've, I've been stuck in, 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 like the three city states for a long time now. Four months. Four months it took me to get here. What a joke. Which means I will soon have to start crafting again. Making my, my former main so obsolete. It makes me want to cry. Okay, so we'll go to the jeweled... Grosier? And then to the saint area. Yeah, now I can actually... Uh, I need to look for Sora's new character. No results. Uh, the one thing we've been timing up as the estate... Is the 6th Ethereal wheel stand. Can't wait for that. It's almost done as well. So soon we'll have level 3 buffs. Um, might need to look into what we need for that. Oh, I need to be down there. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'll buy new gear later. Oh, Mephius is back. Wait, Mephius joined again? No, it's another Mephius. Welcome. It's going nicely, actually. We're like 85, 86 members in now. Man, things have not been sitting still. Seriously, I swear, the dogs want to go outside again. Can I just walk the steps, please? Uh, oh, I think Fred might be recruiting. That's that's annoying to have pop up constantly. Um, 
call him Maddie or Duke. Uh, oh. What's up, Matt? Maddie. All right, there we go. That is done. Let's go over to it. This is Guardian Citizen. After witnessing a spectacle like that every day, every day life seems rather dull in comparison. What spectacle? What spectacle? Hmm. So you didn't see the trial earlier. Ah, you're lost. Fury take me the way that heretic swung. That slap of iron he called a sword was a sight to behold. He couldn't have carried a shield if he wanted to. The blade was so big, had to keep two hands on it at, at, at all times. I was amazed he managed to keep up with the Temple Knight as long as he did. Fought like a demon from the deepest pits of the seventh hell, bestowing threats and working his art. I wasn't sure what to make of it first. But then I heard someone say, he must be a dark knight. Ha, <laughs> he's Batman. But you didn't hear that from me, eh? In fact, I'm sure you don't know anything about it. Press the man for some details. Yeah, you look like a dark knight as well. You gods, are you mad? We're standing outside the bloody tribunal. Fine, fine. But keep quiet and listen well, because I, I'm only going to say this once. I'm going to open the door for my dogs, because that's just really annoying. means that during the weekend I have some time to play right and I might be going to level these guys up uh, I won't do the class quests that means I'll have to carefully see what is locked behind any of the classes so we at least can use these in the the main story right anyways let's go talk to this is guardian citizen and yeah, he's going to be level 30 as well. But we have gear for him, I think. Man, that's still Claymore, though. Oh, the name Claymore alone is just great. So, as I was saying, that heretic was fighting like a man possessed. Even after he took several wounds, he showed no signs of pain. Though there was no mistaking the blood. As the fight wore on, it began to soak through his armor, spreading to every ilm of his body. But when it began to rise and envelop him as a mist, I realized it wasn't blood, but something dark and twisted. But the righteous are not so easily cowed. Um, Helone be praised. I screamed myself also when the Temple Knight slipped past his guard and ran him through. Good riddance, I say. Man was, n man was not meant to wield such art. Yet I wonder... Was he truly one of those... Those... Well, it matters not. I heard the Temple Knights talking of dumping his corpse in the broom. By sunrise, it will be stripped bare and tossed over the walls. It will... Wait, why the fuck did he do that? That makes no sense. Is it throwing a... Okay, whatever. Uh, it will be as though he never was. And as though he never... Had this uh, and and as though we never had this conversation. Okay, so we're going to be plucking his corpse then. Okay, luckily we can now teleport to the brune. Yeah, that makes it so much better. She's still standing here. Got a nice tattoo though. We need to be up. There you go, Temple Knights. What do you want, mate? Almost. I know what they want. I kind of do. Oh, man. He is not dead, I think. He 
He looks cool. That's more than far enough for charity. They'll take care of the rest. And may have sooner rather than later. Come on, look at them. I actually look like I'm going to be stealing every ounce of that uh, man's armor. Thank you, Astro Job. Yeah, he's not dead yet. Maybe I can bring him to life, like resurrect him. Okay. Wait, he is dead. What is it? It is... Oh, no, I mean more enough. Okay, wait, he's talking. No, no more. Enough. Open your eyes. Look, do you not see now? Do you not see? Uh, okay, that's going too fast for me. I know I read like, like a snail. Well. He resurrected himself using my life signs. Nice. He looks great, though. Oh, well, the helmet, not really my thing. I've been waiting for you to open your eyes. Are you alright? You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets beside. Name's Frey, by the way. And no, I'm not a heretic. Try convincing a Temple Knight drunk on authority of that, eh? Shame the proper Zars got the better of me. But, how about you? You touched it, yes. That couldn't feel, that couldn't have felt good. Man, this, this, he has some nasty puns in there. A voice, eh? And a rather distressed one besides. Please, someone, anyone! Damn. Not so fast. We need to talk about what's happening to you. What's growing within you before you get carried away? There's a darkness within us all. Nothing dangerous, mind. In fact, it's quite healthy. But the crystal changes you. Gives you the power to channel it. The fuck? Do, with it, uh, do, without, uh, do it without proper training, however. And well, it might hurt. Oh, come on, man. I just wanted those eyes. So, go ahead. Ask me to teach you. Ask me to instruct you in the ways of the Dark Knights. And I will. He's actually quite easy going. Hopefully, this is a short one. That's easy. I need to be level 50, huh? Ah. Uh, Red Mage. I know you're still worried about the screaming woman, so I'll keep this brief. Oh, thank you. We Dark Knights do not care uh, one whit for prestige or pedigree? pedigree? Is that that's a dog brand of food? They don't want dog food. We are free to follow our hearts, to defend the weak and punish the guilty as we see fit. To lay the law of the land, the authority of a name. Those are tools cowards use to escape harm. We have no need to shield figurative or literal. Here, my blade is yours. Uh, my, yeah, my blade is your blade. My soul crystal, your crystal. Go on, take them. You'll need them soon enough. Misaka Sukasa. Asusaka, of course, or something like that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, Dark Knight unlocked. That's actually quite easy. I like that. Okay, let us... Equip. Yeah. That, that, that sword looks good on me. I like it. Equip that. Equip this. You serious? The Vel... Oh, wait. I'm still on the Red Mage. Never mind. Dark Knight. Now, still the velvet, huh? No way. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, I did not expect that. Okay, what do we have? Let's take a look. Um, I think 
Oh, there's actually not as many skills as the other one. Uh, we have Provoke. Let's take a look here. Provoke. Okay, we probably have that Kick Attack as well then. Provoke. Yeah. Kick Attack. That over there. This is a Defense Skill. Defense Skill. We got Soul Eater. We have Unmended. Okay, what is going to be doing... The enmity stuff. Grit, I think. So, increase enmity generation. Okay, let's put that on there. Oh, fuck, that's cool. Okay. We have hard slash. We have a combo of hard slash with a Siam strike. Delivers a potency of 100. In a combination to... 40 restores AH or restores MP and with unleash deals unexpected damage to potency to all enemies nearby. So this is our area. We have unmend deals unexpected damage to potency of 150. Additional effect increases enmity. And this is a follow up. So the one two three combination unleashes is something like this then. So, unmanned increases enmity. It's not an area thing. I can't target that. Let's put that back where it belongs. Right over there. Dark side cake? Okay. Okay, let's talk to him then. And we get the Flood of Darkness. Um, dealing unexpected damage with opponents of 100 to all enemies in a straight line before you. Additional effect grants dark side. Increases damage dealt by 10%. Duration is 30 seconds. Extend dark side duration by 30. So this is what you can... What, what the, the warrior has as well. Like it's a buff. Yeah. She has rescast time with Edge of Darkness. So in our fights, we need to use this twice. Get up to the 60. And we have to keep this up at all times. She has a cast time with Edge of Darkness. Do I have Edge of Darkness? Well, well. Don't you look the part. Ready to harness the, the darkness within. To set the wrong things right. Now, bear in mind that while the darkness gives you strength... The strength comes at cost. That is but one sacrifice, though. The just and justice demands many. Say a man, a ven, um, ver, uh, ver, ver, venerable, ven, venerable man, venerable, untouchable man harms. No, it's not a vulnerable man. A vulnerable, untouchable man harms a child in unspeakable ways. He strides through the hoplon, secure in the knowledge that he is beyond punishment. But for one who cuts down that vile beast as he flaunts his freedom, who, know, who knows how many others will suffer? Brain hurts. Such was the dilemma faced by a godly knight long ago. He knew that he would be stripped of his titles and denounced for his deeds. The threshold we refuse to cross is a line we draw for ourselves. We fear the consequences and, pop and people suffer for our indiscretion. Everyone who held that crystal came to conquer that fear. And became who they wanted to be. That night was the first and you will be the next. So are you kind of dead now or, or what? I love that. Oh wait, that is the Empress. Think on that while we look into the commotion down below. Uh, apparently I did not get my gear set up properly. Let's go. But they're snowballing. There's nothing to worry about. We don't have to kill them. Oh, 
Okay, that's actually very in your face, isn't it? Lowborn crone. He stopped that. Please, I don't know what to do. It's it's my granddaughter. I I didn't see him standing there, and I know that is no excuse. I should have been more careful. But my granddaughter, she started yelling at the temple night, and I tried to stop her. I did. But then he said she had to come with him. And, and if I could just tell him how sorry I am, maybe, maybe he would. He'll take you too, is what he would do. Even if you went and backed the blue bastards to intervene, it'd be too late by then. Ain't the first time they've taken a girl or age. If she doesn't fight back, they might let her go off. Wait, what the fuck, dude? No, no, there has to be another way. Can we just skip the, you know, this dirty business and just kill the fucker? Ah, it's guardian justice. They might spare the girl, you know, leave her with a few scratches and a lifelong lesson. Or, we could beat every last one of them to within an ilm of their lives and rescue the girl. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Fuck yeah, I'll like that. I know you would. <laughs> yeah, we all do. Everything is going to be alright, ma'am. When I'm through with those knights, they will not dare trouble you ever again. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, can we start fighting now? Assuming they don't drag her into an alley. They've taken her either to the congregation or the tribunal. The Honourable Sir Elmick wouldn't suffice such... ...reprehensible behaviour under his roof. The Inquisition? The Inquisition? On the other hand, well... So, that leaves the Tribunal. If the girl is still alive, I'd imagine they give all manner of threats. Come any closer, and she'll die. And so forth. If so... We'll need to make some perfect clear. We need to make something perfectly clear to them. We're not here. We're not here for her. We're here for you. Once they understand, she means nothing to us. They'll attack us or flee. I don't know about you, but I'm eager to find out which. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, where is it? It's guardian justice. Good go. And I thought I would be finally doing some Miss Guardian MSQ, huh? Find the one sword between the two of us, I'm afraid. Just the one sword between the two of us, I'm afraid. You keep it, I dare say it fits you rather... It fits rather sluggish in your hand. But don't worry about me, I'll do part to keep you on your feet. Now, should things turn violent, as I expect that they shall, you may need to tap yourself. Uh, you may need to tap into your dark side to survive. It's not unlike drawing upon your own ether to weave magic. Fear, pain, rage. What? That's what lies in the deepest depths of your soul making a potential fuel. But be warned. Burn too much too quickly and you risk being consumed. Do not worry, Une. The first step over the threshold is always the hardest. Ah, yes. I should have known you'd do that. Right then. Let's find a girl. Oh, do what? What did I do? There we go. Time to fuck him up. Alright, where's the kid? Strange actually getting level sync to 34 in this area. Damn it, girl. Wait, oh, she is the girl. Okay, you're only making it worse for yourself. 
hell's with you. I'm done. Nothing wrong. The pretty ones. Why are the pretty ones always so daft? If I had to kill every time, I had to kill an unrepented bastard like you. What? Well, what the hell? Are you threatening a temple knight? Oh, you are very clever. Yes, I am. Now let her go. Enough of this. With me, girl. Now, one more word of protest and I'll toss your grandmother in a cell to rot. You three, seize this imbecile. Oh, he has a staff? Okay. Let's go. Alright, okay, um, we do need to get all of the enmity. It was in a straight line, I think. It was this one. Right, let's see a potency. Oh, wait, it actually is area. Oh, nice. And it goes actually quite fast. Oh, that's good to know. But that's it. Uh, okay. I don't have control of my character. Okay. Ignite the darkness in you. Immerse yourself in the flames. Okay, fine, mate. There's a surgeon, get him first. Let's go in F7. Ooh, that is so nice. Wait, what? Ah, oh, What the fuck? Yeah, yeah come on, cut that. Get their response. Yeah. You focus on me, buddy. of my character so
need to overhydrate. I'm already ta I I need to be going so badly. Okay, now I need to remember that we actually let's kill the surgeon first. No, you don't. As long as you have this buff up, the Rampart, we don't take the other one on. So now we can use it, we'll go with F7 again. Immediately take this. Ooh, wow. We'll leave that one for now. Until we heal up a bit. Alright, here we go. Wait, where is the guy? What, what killed me then? What? Hey, there's one surgeon. Man, that's actually quite funny. Sorry I moved this much. I know people get nausea if I do that. One surgeon again. Where's my darkness meter? Like, uh, we should get one, right? Yeah, man. Man, you get so much more damage when you do it. We don't shield, that's cheating. God damn it. So much going on. Right. Frightened maiden. Gag and tagged. For those who yet live, remember the horror and no work. And that's too fast for me, man. I don't know what to say, miss. Thank you, thank you. I got a little carried away earlier. It's just that when I saw how they were treating, treating my grandmother, I had to say something and... What? No one screamed your name? My grandmother called out just the once. But that was it. Speaking of which, I should hurry back. 
I suppose I ought to say that I'm sorry for what I did, but I'm not. Those knights had it coming. Uh, Alone, Alone, bless you for what you did. Yeah, give me my skill, man. Feels good, doesn't it? Strange, maybe. But a good strange, I wager. You tap into something primal, a power nested within you, yearning to be free. As you understand of this power, if, if as you as your understanding of this power grows, so too will your skill as a dark knight. You have done well, far better than I could have hoped. In fact, but there is still so much more to learn, so much further to go. I won't lie to you, you know. the risk will only increase. So, if you want to keep going, you have to trust me. Can you do that? I don't know. Yes, I can. Good. That's a promise. Circumstances being what they are, I might. it might be best if we parted ways for a while. Think of it as an opportunity to hone your skills in my absence. Don't, but don't worry. We'll meet again. But when the time is right... Of when the time is right, I'll be waiting where we first met. So we get now Flood of Darkness. Cool. I don't know if I can do it right now or I need a dummy. Do I now also get my Darkness meter? I do. Interesting. And it needs 3,000. 3,000 what? Oh, M yeah, MP, you dumbass. It says so. Um, okay, gauge unlocked. Uh, the timer indicates the duration of the dark side, which increases um, damage dealt using Flood of Darkness, Edge of Darkness. I don't have Edge of Darkness, I think. So this is like your tomahawk, tomahawk skill on a warrior. And... Yeah. So we don't... I definitely want it over there then. You need to be over there. You need to be over there. Cool. Uh, uh, how quickly? No. Oh man, I feel so sad. I can only walk over there. So what will happen in between this and the next stream, which is going to be unfortunately Monday morning, uh, my mornings, not yours. That means it's going to be night time for the people in the states. Uh, let's just go there. I will most likely have leveled this up a bit. Um, what we can do is we can use the Red Mage for the foreseeable future until I caught up with the Dark Knight and the uh, Astrologian. Doing only the class quest until we catch up. Like I still have the Warrior, the Dark Knight, all of that. Or we say, you know what, you level them up. You do the class quest. We only care about the MSQ. That is going to be up to you. Since in the future, I, I do want to do videos on the class related uh, quests. And I will go over the story more in depth then. So, it, 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 yeah, like I said, it's going to be up to you. You care about the class quest or you care about the MSQ, you let me know. But, on that note. I do need to stop streaming. I need to. That's why my dogs have been annoying. They 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 want to eat, and I need to start picking up my wife in 30 minutes. So I can't really progress any further than this. I want to thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. And if you're watching this later on YouTube and actually made it this far, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to give that like. And yeah, see you Monday. Have a good one. Bye bye.